Hi, welcome to our Daily Bread. I'm Father Paul Seil. Joining me today is Father James Vacco. Hello, Father Jim. Good. How are you doing? Good. Good to be with you, Paul. Thanks. Good to have you here. We're going to be making a holiday dinner. What holiday? Thanksgiving holiday. Thanksgiving holiday. Now, of course, you can have turkey any time of the year, and you may well do that, or you may be seeing this show at a time that isn't around even Thanksgiving. But the specialty of Father James Vacco is... Maple fennel turkey. Turkey. Uh, turkey. It sounds wonderful. It sounds really good. Well, hopefully. Now, now Father Jim, you are a chap... Uh, by the way, you make this for some women with whom you work at a... At, at Mercy Hospital in mm -hmm. South Buffalo, New York. Right. right? right. Now let's start. But before we get into that a little bit, I want to do two things. First of all, I need to slice up these potatoes. Sweet potatoes, right. I'm not going to take any skin off them. I'm just going to nope. leave the skin on. Because that's where most of the nutrients are. When you work in the hospital, they tell you where most of the nutrients are, so you got to uh -huh. respect that. Okay. And how? And I'm going to do them on the mandolin or mm -hmm. the, the little V slicer here. Sure. And, I'm, and then I'm going to put them in there? Mm -hmm. Now, do you have to get Oh, no, not yet. We've got to put them into the oh, plastic. Oh, okay. All right. But, but I'm going to put... Uh, you, you want the little the little eyes off yeah, and stuff like that. Eyes off and stuff, yeah. Okay, I'll start with that. Okay. But while I'm doing that, let me ask you this. Um, you are a um, you're a Franciscan priest. Right. Okay. Now there's Franciscan priests and there's Franciscan brothers. Mm -hmm. And there are different clergy. There are priests, deacons, and bishops. Mm -hmm. Now somebody asked me recently. Can you explain, me, Father Paul, can I explain the difference between a religious order priest like a Franciscan, a Jesuit, a Vincentian, and, you know, me, who was a diocesan priest? This gets very confusing. I mean, not confusing to me, but, mm -hmm. you know, to just explain it to people. How would you, I tried to explain they follow, different people follow different charism. Exactly, exactly. That's exactly it. Well, why don't you explain that a little more deeply while I'm slicing these sweet potatoes? Okay, all right. Um, you have within the, the church two types of clergy. You have the religious order clergy and the diocesan clergy. Well, but then in the two orders of clergy, you have the deacons, priests, and bishops, too. And even within the religious orders, you have that. You have deacons? We have deacons, we have priests, and we have bishops. You have some bishops who are Franciscans. Franciscan bishops, yeah. I mean, most religious orders also have bishops. The Jesuits have bishops. Most of the religious bishops are found in, uh, in missionary territories. Well, like in this country, uh, the Archbishop of Denver is a Capuchin Franciscan. Uh, and uh, the former Archbishop of Atlanta was a, a friar's minor, Franciscan. Right. Well, you know, this is going to get really confusing for, I think, our viewers if we get into all this, because then there's branches of the Franciscan Franciscans. family. Mm -hmm. There's conventuals, Capuchins, or Capuchins. Right. There's the OFM sort of friar's minor. Then there's the Third Order's regular, yeah. Little Brothers of Brooklyn or something, mm -hmm. or the Bronx. Is Brooklyn, is it? Uh, Br uh, Brooklyn Brothers. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Brothers. Brothers. What are you? I'm a friar minor. Oh, Order of Friars Order of Friars. Kind of the, We go back to what's called the primitive observance. What but does that mean? Back at the time of Francis, uh, as you were mentioning, there's this, the different branches of the Franciscans. Yes. Back at the time of Francis, there was even the split in the order at that time, when Francis was still alive, about uh, what poverty should be interpreted as. Uh -huh. And you had those that wanted to live the primitive way and those that wanted to live in convents or the conventuals. Oh, I see. That's where we get the name conventual. conventual. Right, the convent okay. dwellers. After Francis died is when everything kind of like broke loose. Now, why aren't you wearing the robe? I'm cooking. <laughs> you know? This is my cooking outfit. All right, this is your cooking outfit. And you cook for, you, I was going to say cook for nuns. You don't cook for nuns. You cook for I, well, women. I cook at, well, at Mercy Hospital where I work one day a week as chaplain. Mm -hmm. uh, on Thanksgiving Day, each unit, you know, the people that are working on Thanksgiving, they bring different munchies and things to to eat, uh, kind of like to make the, the day festival for the, or festive for the staff. Uh, well, I always cook the turkey and stuffing for the nurses in labor and delivery. I see. I've been doing that for the last eight years. Why labor and delivery? We just got a little, we clicked very uh -huh. well. Okay, so, well, that's so, great. Yeah. Now, when you do the, you know, the, the uh, you, you only work one day as a chaplain. Is that, a, mm -hmm. that sounds unusual to me. Well, it all started... What do you do the rest of this other six I teach days? at St. Bonaventure University. What do you do there? What do you teach? I teach in our core curriculum. I teach scripture and a course called Catholic Franciscan Heritage. Oh, how wonderful. Which yeah. uh, the core curriculum, all the students have to take these 10 courses sometime in their four years. And uh -huh. two of those courses are Introduction to Scripture and Catholic Franciscan Heritage. So I teach okay. those two courses. Wonderful. Yeah. Now, what are we making today? We're starting with the potatoes. This is the sweet potatoes. I call them uh, maple onion sweet potatoes. Okay. I think we're going to have plenty in there, Paul. All right. There's just a few more. This is only two. Be careful with these. This is like razor sharp. You don't want to cut yourself. So there we go. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Let's not stuff the bag too much, but we gotta do some shaking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, let's take a little. Let's take just a few of these out. Let's just take a few of these out. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now put in some minced onion. Uh huh. You know, there's no measuring. My grandmother never used to measure anything. Was your mother a uh, grandmother Italian? Oh yeah. Okay. She came right from the old country, little village called Avignano. Where's that? Uh, outside of Potenza, which would be about what province. You know, uh, Basilicata. Ah, wonderful. So, uh, so yeah. She was Grandma Vaco? Grandma, Grandma Vaco. Okay, yeah. wonderful. Okay. So, so we put the, so she never used to measure anything. Everything was just throw, because she couldn't read. Uh huh. So, uh, everything was just throw. So that's how I cook. Everything just good. throws that's in. That's a good way to cook. So we put the minced onion and then some maple syrup. With slices of sweet potato. S slices of sweet potato. Okay. And again, just kind of like pour in there. Okay. That's all? Well, we might, we, it all depends how it looks. <laughs> all right. I'm just being difficult. Is that all? See, I know Father James for a long time. We actually went to grammar school uh, together for a while. Yeah. Our family moved out of South Buffalo to Eden, New York, that area. And you were a year ahead of me, I think, right. at, at uh, Immaculate Conception. Conception. I think shortly after we left, the school closed. Uh, I forget now when the school closed. I yeah. think it was like in 86. So a long time after we left. Oh, that is. Yeah. How quickly time flies. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize it was that long. Yeah. yeah. And then we got and together And then back again. in uh, college at St. Bonaventure, we both ended up there. And again, you were a year ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And you've been a priest for a long, long time, though, haven't you now? Yeah, I've been a priest uh, 28 years. 28 years. Now, what about, uh, but how long have you been a Franciscan? 32 years. And which do you celebrate, being a Franciscan or being a priest or both? Or how do you Mo do that? Most emphasis is put on to the being a Franciscan. Uh-huh. Okay. You know, because you have to take your, your final vows first before you can be even ordained to either diaconate or the priesthood. Right. Now, what do we got to do with yeah, this? Yeah, we got to put this in okay. here. I don't want to hold you up here. Okay. Now, when you... Um, do we have a spoon or something? Or do uh, do we have a spoon or something? Yeah, yeah sure we do. Use your knife. I just got to lay these out. What can you do with your hands? Well, you could. Okay. But then it get all sticky. Oh, well, we're going to a commercial in a minute. <laughs> You just layer these kind of? Just, or yeah, just put them in there and then throw them in the microwave until they're cooked. Yeah, I got some juice in there. About how long is that? Uh, it all depends. This okay, is, I, I would think about uh, I think about 10 minutes. Do you need to cover them? Nope. You don't cover them or anything? Nope. Okay. Nope. All right, we're going to be back and find out a little bit more about the Franciscans, about Father James Vaco's work at Mercy Hospital as a hospital chaplain one day a week, and some of the other things he's going to tell us on our daily bread. Don't go away. We're coming back with more turkey. Some turkey. Some this turkey. goes in the microwave. Okay. okay. Hi, welcome back to our Daily Bread. Father Paul Sile with Father James Vaco. Hi. You usually don't point to people with a knife, but this is a dull-edged knife, so. Okay. Um, we're making a turkey dinner, and this is a dinner you traditionally do on a traditional day for the nurses and the staff and the maternity ward at South Buffalo Mercy Hospital. Right. Now, having said that, the first thing we made was sweet potatoes, uh, sweet potatoes or sweet yams? Well, they're, they're, that's the same thing, isn't it? Sweet potatoes I don't and know. yams? I don't, I don't know. Either. It's like a I diocesan just... priest of Franciscan priest. I don't know. I don't know. What's the difference? Tell us. What's the difference? I think there is a difference, but I don't know what it is. So but they're good start. either way. But what okay. I do is I, I always put the dried onion and yeah. maple syrup and shake it together and then just bake it or How about put your it in grandmother Vaco never used a dry onion in her life? She never did. Of course. And she never go. did. She never used a microwave now, either. I got, <laughs> I've got bread here. This uh -huh. is pumpernickel. What's this? White. White? Rye. Rye. Okay. And I'm cutting them up into cubes like for a dip. And you no, do... no, no. This is for the stuffing. Oh, this is for the stuffing because I don't cook for the, the turkey. turkey with the stuffing. What I'll do is I'll make the <sighs> stuffing and then take the juices from the turkey and pour it onto the stuffing. Where's the turkey? The turkey's in the... Well, I see, what I do is I cook the turkey two days ahead of time. What I first do is I have the turkey soak in a huge kettle in uh, apple cider, fennel seed, and maple syrup. Apple so, cider, fennel seed, maple syrup. And what size turkey do you use? Uh, for the hospital, I use a 25-pounder. So that's a huge kettle. Oh, yeah. Do you dilute it with any water? Is it all just water, that stuff? A little yeah, water, okay. little water. So you, you soak it for how long? Overnight. You have to keep it cold, though. Right, so I keep it in the refrigerator. You know, you, can, you have to keep it in the refrigerator or something. Or if it's snowing outside, you can, you can stay throw outside. it outside. Yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And so, then what happens? Well, then what I'll do is I'll take the So that's called brining the turkey, right? Basically, yeah. Okay. Except it doesn't, you don't use salt. No salt, okay. 
So what then? Then I'll take the turkey the next day and I'll put it into the uh, baking pan. Uh huh. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll line the bottom of the baking pan with apples. Okay. And I'll stuff the cavity with apples. Uh huh. And then I'll pour on top of the turkey maple syrup, uh, apple cider, about a couple cups of each, uh -huh. and then sprinkle the top of the turkey uh, with fennel seed. Oh. And then put about a half a cup of water and throw it in the oven and let it cook according to the. You know, the prescribed cooking half hours. Half a cup of water? Half a cup then of water. In, uh, and, you, uh, and then you cook it as usual. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what happens is that you get all these juices. Uh-huh. And what I'll do is I'll take the juices that are that juice that it was soaking in overnight. Yeah. And then the juices that uh, came out of the turkey, and I'll mix them together, and I'll cook, saute in it, and I'll also then cover the, the stuffing with it, and then bake it. So you get, like, the taste of if it was stuffing inside the turkey. But you have to be very careful that the brining liquid or the liquid you used for, to soak the turkey, you've got to bring that up to a boiling point, yes, right? I do, yes, okay. yes, yes, exactly. I mean, you work in a hospital, folks. <laughs> you know, we don't want anyone getting well, sick of this turkey. Well, sometimes they need business, you know, so. Yeah. Oh. Now, but you only work there one day a week, right. and the rest of the week you work at St. Bonaventure University. Correct. And uh, what else do you do? Well, I fill in for a lot of the diocesan priests when they want to get away for a weekend. Right uh -huh. now, I'm an uh, uh, administrator of St. John's Parish in Olean. Let's see. Oh, you need some more liquid there or not? Oh, I think we're all set. What's uh, going to go in there? Uh, we're going to put the this in there to saute. I have okay. carrots, celery, onion, and apple. And this is some of the liquid? And this is some of the liquid from both the turkey juices as well as the... Uh, the cooked turkey juices plus the brining liquid. Right. Okay. okay. So and what about this, this bread? Just keep that right there. Okay. Now, Father James, could you tell us to you... More of the Why is it, I mean, a lot of people think that when a chaplain comes in, oh, the end is near, and, uh -huh. you know, uh, well, we better get the priest, uh, somebody's dying, you know. But it isn't always that way, is it? No, th th that's, you know, like one of those myths. Uh -huh. uh, the purpose of pastoral care. Oh, sometimes care. it happens. Oh, yes, yeah, so of mean, course, of course. You know, but the purpose of pastoral care is to just do that, be a pastoral presence to people in pain and their family. Uh-huh. You know, uh, that is one of the most rewarding things for me, is where you see people in their raw moments uh -huh. and be able to bring the gospel message of hope to them uh, by just your presence and just an assuring word. You know, uh, many times I'll go into a room and the patient, you know, uh, is on IVs or whatever, and they just feel uncomfortable. And just to put a, a cool washcloth on their head brings them so much comfort. Uh -huh. uh, it's just that assurance that there's someone that cares and that what they're communicating is that God cares for them. Now we're going to need to put some fennel seed in there. In the, fennel is big in this recipe, huh? Yes, oh, fennel is How much fennel thing. is going to go in here? Sprinkle. Okay. Sprinkle. And a little rosemary. Oh, I might as well put a little. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll put a little lighter on the rosemary, yeah. I think. Okay. And then we need to put a little garlic powder. Garlic powder, okay. How much? Yeah, fine. Okay. Oh, you're reminding my grandmother. <laughs> I like the garlic powder. Okay, now mix that really yeah. mix that in well. Um, By the way, I did wash oh. my hands during the break. So, uh, so what's going to happen now? Is this uh, the well, last? Uh, well, this has got to cook a little bit, and then we're going to pour happens? it on top of that, and okay. then we're going to put that in the dish here, the dish. and then bake it. And anything else go in here? Any eggs or anything like nope, that? No, no, just the just that just liquid. Mixer. That's yeah. all. Uh, no little, other flavor. A little more mixture. A little That's more. It. Okay, yeah. great. Well, why don't we do that? And we got the turkey who's going to be making his appearance soon. Is that right? I guess so. Yeah. It's, okay. It's heating up right now. Wonderful. Okay. We're going to be back with more of our daily bread. Don't go away, Father James Vaco, with a holiday meal of turkey and uh, some more talk about hospital chaplaincy. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to our Daily Bread with Father James Vaco. And uh, I'm slicing up some uh, bagels, very thin, onion bagels. And this is going to be for your famous... Dip, by, by what I call my... Excuse me? D oh, oh, you're talking about the dip. Okay. Not you, no, Paul. Okay. That was years ago. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Isn't that nice, Friar? <laughs> Friar James. <laughs> Anyhow, though, this Give is... all the compassion of a St. Francis of Assisi and St. Anthony rolled into one, don't what, you? What can I tell you? Yeah. So what are you making this, this dip? This is my famous yogurt dip. 
Oh, great. What yogurt. makes it famous? Uh, that you're using yogurt. You I don't see. have to use mayonnaise. You don't have to use anything that's fattening. This is non-fat plain yogurt. Okay. And I add to it some garlic powder. Uh-huh. Again, it's all by just guess. Some cayenne pepper. Give it a little bit of a kick. Oh, that looks like a lot. Ooh. And then some paprika. Add to the color. Of the things you make for the people there at Mercy Hospital in the maternity section, first of all, are any of the other, what else you put in? Dill? Dill. 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 And some Do any of the other in? units get uh, a little jealous? or? They do. So they're, now they're starting to come down to the labor and delivery and I participate. <laughs> So put a little... What's that? Minced onion. Minced onion. And then some horseradish. A okay. teaspoon. A teaspoon and a half. Okay. And then some green tomato relish. Hot green tomato relish. They call it what? Piccadilly? Piccadilly. 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 Oh, Piccadilly. Yeah, Piccadilly. Piccadilly relish. It's made in Buffalo by Weber's. Buffalo's. They're famous for their mustard and things here locally. I guess every town is what they're famous for. We're famous for... Chicken wings? Mustard and pickle leaves. Yeah. Okay, and little mm -hmm. onion bagel, you slice these up. Yeah. And this is all uh, going to go out to the hospital, to the ladies. Mm -hmm. And is there any gentlemen? In, I was thinking oh, of yes. women as. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, the doctors, uh, some of the male doctors. There's a couple male nurses. Uh -huh. um, and then the respiratory therapists. Okay. Need more paprika. Doesn't look red enough. All right, we got some uh, crudite here, little raw vegetables. Now, uh, while this has been doing, the, 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 the turkey that we have not yet seen is now out behind us. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've sliced it and everything. And it. It's all set. It's all set. Yeah. Are we going to taste strong maple flavor? I know I'm not going to get to taste too much of it because it's going to the, to the unit. Well, you'll, you'll get to, uh, it's, it's kind of like a combo. It's kind of like a combo fennel um, maple flavor. Uh-huh. Uh, but it gives a nice little sweetness to it. Something a little bit different. Now, yeah. tell me. How did you decide to become a Franciscan friar? Well, I think it would have to be from our time at Bonaventure. Uh huh. Uh, the friars there, uh, you know, were very were models to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, then reading on Saint Francis and his simplicity, and again his earthiness, that all resonated with my own spirituality. Mm -hmm. And what should my wandering eyes to appear? Thirty-two years later, here I am here. Wow. You made it a long way, huh? <laughs> and in your career, you taught at uh, Tymon, St. Jude High School, in different places. And... Mm -hmm. Taught Tymon High mm -hmm. School, was pastor at a parish in New Jersey. This is incredibly hot. Where yeah. in New Jersey? Uh, West Milford, New Jersey. And where is that, like mid-state or uh, shore? About 45 minutes north of Patterson. I see. That's uh, only about 35 minutes from New York. This is really hot, isn't it? Mm. It's got quite a kick. It does. Just add, if, it, if it is too hot, just add some more yogurt. Okay. And dilutes it down. Has a beautiful message. turkey here. Oh. Let's see. Here's the potatoes. Mm. Now, it's, the interesting thing about the fennel, you said, is it makes it have a, a, almost a sausage-like flavor. Right, because the Italian the sausage, fennel. what gives it that flavor is the fennel. Mm -hmm. There's more turkey over there, too, that we're going to pack up. Yeah, you want to Now, normally at this point in the sh program, we uh, take a little taste and we actually dish up the food. But I'm not going to do that because we're going to send this out to the, uh, the labor unit, delivery. labor delivery at uh, South Buffalo Mercy Hospital. It's steaming hot. Mm. It tastes just like sausage. It does. <laughs> it tastes like a sausage stuffing. You're and right. there's not any meat in it. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. Would you say a little prayer? Sure. May I, can I sing it? Father, you can do whatever you want. Thank you, Father. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them their food in due time. You open wide your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. Lord, as we gather for this meal, we are thankful for those who share our lives. And so we pray for all that has been thanks and for all that will be, yes, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 See, that's the difference between Franciscans and diocesan priests. For me, saying grace is, bless us the Lord in these days. <laughs> but that was very beautiful. Now, do you do that all the time in the friary, too? Some, yeah. Do you? That's yeah, very nice. Just got a little taste here. Okay. You want to start packing this up before I oh, eat sure. it all? Ooh. 
You know, I don't know. I think we maybe should have taken those skins off, Father. Oh, no. That's where the... the well, okay. Is. All right. Whatever you say. Mmm. How is it? Those are very good. Very simple, but you can taste that maple and the other seasonings. Mm. And look at the juices on this turkey. Wow. So we don't need mashed potatoes because we got the sweet potatoes. Yep. We got the sausage stuffing, which never even made it into the turkey. Nope. And there's no sausage. And, the, and there's no <laughs> sausage, exactly. Why, thanks, and then Father. you got the dip. And we got the dip. And us, too. Hey, um, thanks for joining us on our Daily Bread. Remember to share your food, your blessings, your bounty with others. Until next time, we'll see you, and God bless. Bye-bye. I say that. Oh, you sorry. don't go bye-bye after I say goodbye. <laughs> well, let's pack things up. Thank you.